you look to make good on your New Year's resolution to eat better, you need to check food labels and false promises. There are so many food options out there touting what they will do, but so many are kind of short in some of the most surprising places. Even your favorite chewing gum may be at fault. In today's Healthy Cooking, we get the scoop of what's healthy from Cindy. This is from a sweet leaf, okay? So it's a stevia leaf. It's, it's actually the most natural form that you can get. They're coming in things such as these, these Mio sweeteners. Um, there's stevia skinny girl now. You have so many different options. Um, this one actually has saccharin in it. So many options your honey, your gum, your favorite drinks. And it's why Cindy wants to help you sift through what's good for you and what you need to steer clear of. Today we are going over sweeteners. I know this is a big question that I have. My clients come to me and they're always like, what is the best sweetener without using sugar? So that is the question of the day. There's artificial sweetener in absolutely every product out there on the market, especially if it's a diet food or sugar-free, you're going to find some type of sweetener. But all sweeteners are not as helpful or as healthy as you may think. You have aspartame, you have saccharin, you have um, Splenda. I mean, there's, there, there's different reviews. And now I'm, I do use that one. I have never actually tried this one. This is the newest one on the market. Monk. It's actually from a fruit. It's a fine line. You don't want to have too much sugar in your diet, so therefore we're trying to substitute with something that's artificial. And so I think that we're causing our bodies more harm than we're doing good. A lot of these too, your stomach's going to react differently because your body doesn't know how to project and pro digest it. I mean, like it's it's go it's a product that is not easily digestible. A big ingredient: sugar alcohols put into your favorite healthy food to make it taste sweeter and better. These are sugar-free fudge grams. Sugar alcohols, eight grams right there. That's a lot of sugar alcohols. What should it be? Um, zero would be, a, I mean, the perfect choice. But, you know, one to two sugar alcohols at the most. Because a piece of gum is going to have one gram in it. One piece of gum. Tips to help you guide safely through the food aisle at the grocery store. The less chemicals, the better. Okay. Um, look at the food labels. Uh, have agave nectar and also have honey. These are two great natural choices. Now, again, it is sugar that you're putting into your body, so moderation on these products. It's all about portion size. Your body will thank you, your stomach won't be upset, and your hips won't have added calories and pounds. All right, Cindy, thank you, ma'am. Now you know why you may have an upset stomach mm -hmm. when you have certain foods. It makes sense. Yeah, it does. So if you still have questions on how you can eat healthy or you want to live a better lifestyle when it comes to working out, Cindy, it's available for a live chat right now. Just go to our Facebook page, click on the link in our Healthy Living post, and join Cindy in a live conversation right now. Special thank you to my photojournalist, uh, Jason Caldwell, for that awesome editing job. Because okay. sometimes you hear about it, but when you, I'm a visual, and a lot of our friends are visual, and you get to see how things uh, make more sense. It, 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 it impacts you when you're at the grocery store. Absolutely.